In this video, we are going to understand the syntax of Stata. So before we delve into the deeper understanding of the syntax, let's first understand what syntax by itself is. So there are rules for every language, right? Uh, we have grammar rules for, for languages that we speak, the languages that we speak between humans. So similarly, to communicate with software, so to communicate with, with machine, we need some kind of grammar. And these grammars are basically, these rules are basically the syntax. And Stata is no exemption. So in context of Stata, syntax are the rules that guide us how to write a command. It is the holy grail of any language. And once we understand it, working with any language become an easy task. So first thing first, where do you find the Stata syntax? We can find the syntax in the help menu or in the help window. So to find the help window, we need to write the help command. And then we write the name of the command that we want to understand. So in this case, I want to understand the syntax of summarize command. Remember the summarize command is used to estimate the mean standard deviation or the descriptive statistics of variables. It is a simple command and let's start with the simple command. So we want to open the help menu of summarize command. It would open a new window, which is a viewer window and we would have a syntax. So let's first understand the sequence of this syntax. We always have the name of the command in the start. So the command starts with the command name by itself. So in this case, the command is summarize. We will start the command by the word summarize. And then we have a bunch of different things that would enhance the features of this command. So starting with this command and the SCU alphabet is underlined. It is the status way of telling us that we can abbreviate this command to these two alphabets. So we can either write summarize or we can simply write SCU to execute this command. So let me first load the data and see how this works. To load the data, we are going to click on files. And then we have example data sets. These are the data sets that come preloaded with Stata. Example data sets installed with Stata. And we are going to use the auto data set. Let's close this window. And remember, I wanted to summarize the variable. So I just tried the word summarize, nothing else. I would explain why is that so. Press enter and I would have the summary statistics of all the variables are that are there in the this data set. Or if I wanted to abbreviate this command, then the shortest form that I can write is the alphabet SU and it would give us exact similar result. We can write anything between SU and summarize. So I can write, write SU double M A and that would also give me the same result. So what this underline means is that we can abbreviate a command to the maximum limit of the alphabets that are underlined. So let's get back to our summarize command. Then we can see that all the other things are within these brackets. Anything that is in bracket is optional. That means we, if we want it, we can enter it. If we do not want it, it is not necessary. So in case of summarize command, everything is in bracket. So it means in summarize command, everything is optional except for the summarize itself. And we can also abbreviate it. So you just saw that I just wrote the word summarize and it gave me the descriptive statistics of all the variables in my data set. So anything in brackets is optional. Next we have this VAR list. And it means that with this command, we can have a variable list. VAR list stands for variable list. So this command can accept more than one variable. 
there are certain commands that can accept variable list others can accept only one variable and then there would be some that would only accept a new variable so let's move to another command and we can open the help menu of other command by simply typing help in the command name in this case i am using generate command this generate command is used to create a new variable to generate a new variable so you would see that we have the generate variable and obviously g is underlined so we can abbreviate this command to g so we can simply write g and this command would execute other things are in brackets but this new var is not in bracket and this new var means first thing it isn't a list it is just var so it means that we can only input one variable this command would only accept one variable and this new var means it means that the variable shouldn't exist previously in our data set and then we can see var name it stands for variable name and it means that we can only input one variable so this thing would only accept one variable so let's get back to our summarize command so before explaining this if in and wait let me get to this option because this is the mostly used thing anything after comma are options and options are there to enhance the capability of a command so in this case if we wanted detailed descriptive statistics of variables then we could use summarize with an option detail and you can see all the options are listed under the syntax so if we open some other command let's say this time we open the help menu of regress which is used to run the ols regression and you can see a bunch of options that we can use with that specific command these options are specific to a command so an option of one command cannot necessarily be used as an option for another command so let's get back to our summarize command we have an option of detail and again it is d is underlined which suggests that this option can be abbreviated to single alphabet of d mean only can be abbreviated to just the word mean so let's try this summarize command with the detail option i type this summarize command and this time i want just the detail of three variable the price the mileage and the repair variable and i have the detail option it would give a detailed descriptive statistics of all variables so for price we have different percentile remember the 50th percentile is the median we have the number of observation the mean variance skewness kurtosis etc which wasn't there with the simple descriptive statistics the simple summarize command without the detail option there are some options that can take arguments so example this separator command this is used to draw a line after every specific number of observations so how many observations we can give the argument here so in this case let's say we wanted to draw a separator after every five variables then we can use separator and within parenthesis we can write five there is one interesting case of the drop command and let's move to its help me menu and you would see that this drop command this is the syntax and we can either drop variables we can drop observation we can drop a range of observations but you would notice that under this syntax there isn't an anything underlined and there isn't anything in brackets so what this means is that this drop command cannot be abbreviated one thing and the second thing the var list is mandatory so we cannot just type the drop and it would drop a variable we would need to specify which variable we need to drop but when there is a var list it doesn't necessarily means that we need to specify multiple variables 
it can be just one variable so with var list it can either be one variable or multiple variables but with var name it can only be one variable so moving back to our summarize command there is if and in and these are called command modifier or command qualifiers they somehow change the number of observations that that command can analyze so starting with the if qualifier what if qualifier does it it restricts the scope of a command to the observations that mean meets the conditions or criteria that we have specified say i just wanted to summarize the price for the vary for the observations where the trunk was greater than 15 so i would write summarize price if trunk is greater than 15 i can also use trunk is greater than equal to 15 and there are only 36 observation where trunk was either greater than or equal to 15 and this is the mean price of only those observations where the trunk was greater than or equal to 15 and that met our criteria so what this if qualifier did was it restricted the scope of summarize command to the observation that were met in this criterion in any command we can only use one if qualifier so if we wanted to had multiple conditions in this case if we wanted to summarize the price if the trunk was greater than or equal to 15 and the repair was greater than 3 so we would write a logical operator or and we would write repair 78 is greater than 3 remember we can only use if once it won't be repeated and it would give us the summary statistics of the price if this condition is met or this condition is met and we have a whole video on logical and arithmetic operators and you can watch that video from the link given in the description i also want to explain the equality signs the equal signs in stata so let me say if we wanted to summarize the price if the trunk was equal to 15 not greater than now you would notice that i have written two equal to signs and stata double equal signs is used for equality whereas single equal sign is used for assigning a value value so let's say we wanted to generate a variable and we wanted to give it a value of 1 it would have a constant value of 1 we would use the generate command the new variable name whichever it is in this case i am giving it a name of new variable or new var equal to 1 remember in this case i am using a single equal sign and that is because i want to assign the value of 1 to this variable this new var variable So remember double equal signs are used for equality and single equal sign is used for assigning a value. So let's move towards the next qualifier which is the in and in qualifier also restricts a command but it restricts command to a specific range of observations. So for example we wanted to summarize just the summary statistics for first 10 observations. in that case we will use the in qualifier so let me show you we would use the summarize command let's abbreviate it we want to summarize price in 1 forward slash 10 so it would summarize the price variable for just first 10 observations now there are certain commands that are byable and by byable we means that we can use a by free prefix and in this case it is mentioned below that this command can be used with a by free prefix and by prefix means that we can use this command for different group of variables 
So let's just say I write by and I want to repeat this command for the foreign variable. So we have two types of cars in this data. One is the domestic car, the second is the foreign car. I want summary statistics to be presented for both those cars. So I just want to write the command name which is summarize and I want to summarize the price. And now you would see I have two groups. One is the foreign, the variable foreign had the domestic value and it mean is 6072 whereas foreign cars had a mean value of 6384. So this by variable is used to repeat a command for a group variable. There are other prefixes that we can use such as rolling or stats by but these are something that we will discuss them in our advanced videos. Now here I would like to introduce one more detail regarding syntax. For that we need to move to the help menu of another command which is called de string. The de string command is used to convert string values into numeric values or string variables into numeric variables. So let's move toward that command. Now here you would notice the curly brackets and within curly brackets there would be certain options. So in this case we have generate, new var and this sign is used as an or, it is a logical operator, replace. So this curly bracket means that whatever option is within these curly brackets, whatever choices are there, we have to choose at least one. So either I have to choose generate or I have to choose replace. And this thing is mandatory. So we have to use one option. It can be generate or it can be replace. Please click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You will get a notification as soon as we upload a new video. Also leave a comment in the comment box below for a recommendation or any suggestions that you would like to give.